sure that your grill is clean right in this area right here. After you do that, go ahead and grab your pinstripe tape, pull it out. Um, normally this is going to be pretty long, so you want to be careful when you unroll it so it doesn't just unravel on you. Um, find the end of the tape and what I like to do is just kind of give it a, uh, you know, a quick guess of how far or how much tape I'm going to need. So I'll just kind of lay that out there, right? And I'll give myself a little bit more, take a knife, cut it, okay? Then you want to take this tape and uh, peel it back real quick and then kind of just get it on there. That way um, it doesn't all unravel and you can use this at a later time. Just take the tape like that, peel it back, make sure to, uh, to reapply it there. And just put it back in your box. That way you can use it at some later time. Peel back a little bit of tape so you can get it stuck right up there in the top of the grill. Um, I'll probably go, yeah, I guess I'll go this direction. Okay, once you get that, you can go ahead and start to peel back the tape and just lay it in close to the grill. Um, you want to make sure you're not touching the actual grill, but you don't have a lot of gap either. Okay, you keep applying it slowly, um, making sure not to touch the grill. You don't want to touch this great stuff or else it's going to look kind of stupid. So you can just kind of, you know, pull it back. You're not going to want to tug too hard though. You don't want to stretch this material out or else it'll start to look funny. Making sure you like the way it looks. Take your knife, take it all the way up there in that corner, and you're done.